Hi guys, I wanted to show you how I feed sardines to my 13 year old ragdoll cats, Charlie and Trig. I tend to buy two different brands of sardines, either these Trader Joe's unsalted sardines in spring water or Wild Planets no salt added wild sardines in water. So the important thing is that there's no salt added and that they're in water, not oil. How I determine which brand just depends on this was on sale at Natural Grocers for $1.50 during their anniversary sale, so I bought a bunch then. And then if these aren't on sale, then I go ahead and buy the Trader Joe ones because they're always a buck fifty. Once I open the can, I like to pour the water from the can, uh, kind of equally portioned in both bowls. Now, you see all of the oil there. That's one of the reasons why sardines are so excellent for cats because they're filled with omega-3s and also filled with antioxidants. Now I will divide the, the fish between the two bowls. Once the fish are divided, I will take the can and add more water to that. Uh, I use either spring water or purified water. One of the things that I've learned through the detox process with Pam of Perfectly Holistic, who's been helping me heal my cats, their leaky guts and all the other issues that they had was that tap water, and I've known this, but kind of ignored it. Tap water has chlorine and fluoride, which is not good for our kitties or really for us. So that's why I only add spring water or purified water. So then I, as you saw, mush them all up and they've got quite a bit of water to drink, you know, to eat their sardines. And then I serve the sardines. <laughs> Charlie initially will walk away from them depending on his hunger level, but he'll come back later. So I just leave him out. Right now they get sardines Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That's based on what Pam has suggested with our situation. But when we were going through the detox process, which we were going through for quite some time, they got sardines every day. And this one got kind of fat from that, but he's still working on a detox. You can see it in his coat that he's still not 100%. I'd share in the comments below if you've ever fed your cats sardines in no, unsalted in spring water and let me know how they've liked them. I also use this juice all the time for their syringes. Like if there's, you know, one of the nasty detox herby tasting things that they are on right now, this is such a good base to put that stuff in because it's so fishy and, and it masks the smell and the taste of, of the actual herb and allows me to get them, you know, what they need. Th these will sit out for the remainder of the afternoon and by this evening they'll be gone. They kind of make their rounds and, and I leave these out, but I don't leave out our raw food for very long, but I leave out the sardines. Did you finally eat them? Uh-huh, you did. There you go, people, drink all the juice. <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more water to this for dinner when they're hungry and then he'll eat more. Just didn't want to do it in front of everybody, huh? One more thought is, you know, cats have a very low thirst drive and that's one of the, the struggles sometimes. Especially if your cat's on dry food, that is a huge problem. If they're wanting to drink water, then they are dehydrated without a doubt. So this is a great way to get water in them, um, is why I also like the sardine route. I've actually added way too much today. I usually will have like the sardines popping up a little bit, but you can see like he, he ate everything but, <laughs> but all the sardines. But they will finish this by day's end. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.